Well, welcome everyone uh, this morning to the AI We Care uh, team group user meeting for NowSight. We meet here every Friday morning at 11 o'clock uh, Central Daylight Time, something we won't be able to say next year because daylight time is going away next year. We'll all be on one time zone forever and ever, which is a good thing because I'm not looking forward That's to right. kicking. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to kicking back again. This will be the last year. Yeah, the Congress did get something done last year. They did get rid of daylight savings time. So that's going to be a positive. Um, so what we're going to do is this morning is we're going to get caught up on some things. And for all those people out there watching this video, if they're watching after the meeting, thank you for joining us as well. And um, we'll go ahead and post this video to our YouTube channel. And it will also be posted on the uh, resource page, which is aiwecareteam.now.site, which has all the latest and greatest and stuff there that Mary keeps up, all that good information on the resource page for us to make sure we're in the know and on the go. Okay, so with that, um, Mary, I'm going to turn it over to you for any weekly announcements you've got. Absolutely. Uh, just a note for the recording, this is the 7th of October, mm -hmm. so we've made it through the month of September. How many, by a show of hands, do we have commission earning affiliates on our channel right now? Okay. So with that being said, if, can I drive, Steve? Sure. Okay. Hold on. Doop, 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 doop. You're going to talk about the deal of the century? That too. <laughs> but I'm also going to share this little fact. Uh, right here on our homepage, Okay, this is the AI We Care team homepage. You see the September code word link? Okay, if you click this, it's going to open your Google document to get paid for September's business. Now, I've been watching my emails pretty diligently. They have not sent the September one out yet. Mm -hmm. If you need to watch the video, let me know, or better yet, I'll come find it and put it over here next to it on the homepage. Okay, so if you're a commission earning affiliate, this is a very important button that you need to pay attention to. You now, need three magic words. <laughs> three magic words. So it will appear in the September folder after next week. So it's never gone from our files. It just refers back into September, August goes away, and I introduce October. Okay. There are four pillars of an announcement that came out on Monday. And I'm going to move up my screen so y'all can see this a little bit easier and better. These are just a couple of the snapshots that I was able to pull off of the PowerPoint that Justin did. And you know, when Justin does a PowerPoint, it's going to go ridiculously long, okay? Um, wants to state it, overstate it, and restate it. We love him for that, but sometimes the PowerPoints get long, so I shortened them this time. So we have four pillars. We have the marketing software, the creative services, the data, and now the sales assistance. For right now, and when I looked last night, I gotta sneak down the screen, there was 315 spots left this month, okay? Which means they're only going to sell 315 more packages for a new customer. Now, what does that mean? It's gonna be $99 for 12 months, okay? So they're gonna pay monthly $99. They're going to get the unlimited websites and funnels, social media, content, blogs email marketing up to 15,000 a month. Remember that's 500 a day. The team management, the three-click marketing, the nerd design your website, a nerd to create your email campaign, a nerd to create your blog post, and a nerd to create your social media. This is all done by NowSite and their nerds. No restrictions, no limits, price stays $99 for the next 12 months. Every package you sell before it goes out, you will receive a $50 cash bonus for every client that signs up for the $99. It is yes-tober in the now site world. 
website sales flow enhancements, funnels, leads, email campaigns, CRM, personality reports, blogs, sales pro, nerds, SMS, and three-click marketing. Everything this month, now site is saying yes to. Okay? They got tired of hearing, no, it's not part of that account. No, it's not part of that. And remember, we had to diagram which account you had. For new customers, I'm going to call it 310. 300 about because that's what I took off the line last night. So watch that number. Once that 315 goes away and it goes down to zero, then the sales are closed for October to be reopened sometime in November. Okay. They didn't open yes, Tober until Monday. That was the third. So don't think the first, which is a Tuesday, would be a guarantee sure bet. OK, so just be aware of that. That is on our home page for the team page. Mary, uh, Justin did say at the end of 12 months that that would go up to one hundred and thirty nine dollars a month. For the regular price, the regular price would be one hundred thirty nine a month after that for everything. OK, so if you got somebody sitting on the fence, they can have everything right now for 99. Remember when we were buying it for 89 or 87? Yeah, this, this is unbelievable. just getting marketing. <clears throat> this is unbelievable. I mean, to get a sales assistant who's going to do your prospecting for you, I mean, uh, that alone for $99 is, is worth it. That's what I have on my end this week, Steve. Okay. Um, yeah, the, um, there's, um, you know, a lot, one of the things to just be aware of, they are doing a lot of work on the platform right now. I've been in several times this week where something wasn't working or was extremely slow. And uh, so I, I emailed support and asked them and they said that they're trying to be as less intrusive as possible but they're doing a lot of new programming in the background. <clears throat> and a lot of it has to do with email marketing. And a lot of it has to do with the contact management system. There are some pieces that are not working correctly, like the notifications. Some people are getting them, some people aren't. <clears throat> so one of the things you wanna make sure is, uh, Mary, since you're in, you wanna go in and show them where the notifications are, real quickly and make sure that you've got your notifications set correctly for what you want to be notified for. Um, on the Now Club call, they had Pierre or Pierre, Pierre. who is their uh, main programmer. He manages everything. And, and Justin had him on there because he was asking the Now Club who was having problems and over 75% of the people, and we're, and we're constant users, were not receiving notifications. So I know that they're working on that and they're also working on the email because I have emails running that I know they're running because I always do this and I really suggest to everyone, if you run an email campaign, uh, make sure your address is in the email campaign so you can see that you're get what, what, your, what your potential prospects are getting and you know it's working. So I have several working and it's showing absolutely no data, no sense, no opens or anything else, like any analytics at all in, in, uh, in the email campaign. And I know it's going up because I'm getting them and doing that. So I know that they're working on that as well to tie the analytics. This is another problem. I think a lot of these problems originated when they switched server companies because they went from, I believe, Google to AWS or one way or the other. And when they did, I know that there was problems with the ad pins, the on geofencing for almost six weeks, where it was not, they were running, but there was zero analytics. Now the analytics are working on that as well. So- um, Double check your ad pins, please, mm -hmm. if you're running ad pins. Now, I sent, my, I did my two ad pins and I sent it off to support, said, oh, by the way, I've just redid my ad pins. I know it is in pending. OK, so please make sure it gets pushed through. I did that the moment I sent it to get approved. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And the reason I did that is because I wanted another set of eyes and support mm -hmm. looking for that to make sure it did or it did not. So my answer came back to me is your ad was not approved. We do not know why, but you need to redo it. Okay. So if I did not already have that ticket into support, they would not have answered me. Okay. So even though you think, well, it's taken care of, make sure that you follow up with them and say, hey, I want somebody else to report back to me and tell me what's wrong and how we fix it. But yeah. they said, we don't know how to fix it. The quickest way to not have an ad approved is put a phone number in that ad. Do not put a phone number in that ad. They'll kick it back every time. Now you can put a link on the ad to go through to the website, like click here to a website. You can do that. Or the ad itself is linked to whatever website you want that to go to. And so if you click on the image, you can say like on the uh, on the ad, you can say, click on this image. You can give people direction because some people don't know to do that to take them to your website. So this was mine and this has still not been, it still shows under review. And I just simply grabbed another picture and there's wording on top of that picture. Get your healthcare now for 2023. Click here to learn more. Can't see what's wrong with that ad. If somebody else can see a problem with that, hey, I'm all ears. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, there's nothing in the context. There's nothing that should trigger anything. So um, we're going back to square one on that. But I do, I, I go in and check our clients that we manage. And currently all their ad pins that we're managing are working correctly. And they are, the analytics are there. So it's good. Uh, for the ones that we've reposted and doing that. Um, the other thing too, remember, if it's the end of the month and you don't want that ad to run anymore, you got to go in and cancel it. If you don't, it automatically triggers and runs for another month. Keep that in from mind. your billing oh. date. Yep, from your billing date. On your ad. Yep, now, that mind. Yep. this is my sales assistant. And for some reason, she locked herself out of LinkedIn. I tried to catch up with them yesterday on support to give them the new code that LinkedIn sent me, but I can't log into my LinkedIn because I don't know what the password is. Um, so <laughs> strange things. Um, anyway, me and LinkedIn are going to have a conversation this afternoon. But this little headset over here is your sales pro for your messages. Okay. Also, if you go into your settings, your notification settings. So either click on your picture or your initials. And you'll want to make sure that all your leads by now what, which is when you sign into now site that used to be called now what it's your front page by email. So I will get an email at my Mary E bird at att.net when any of these things trigger. And I will also get a text message on my phone that says, I have a hot lead. I have a sales alert. So these are the icons that you wanna focus on as what will show up in your text. And it, you know, and these are, a lot of these were the ones that were not working like follow-up reminders. Some people were getting them, some people weren't. Hot leads, some people were getting them, some people weren't. Sales pro alerts and let, you know, people were getting them on the, on the mobile app, but not on the website and doing things so make sure that you're you know you've got them all clicked here in the background so you get so when a lead is hot you know and that can mean they clicked on an attachment uh, they can fill out a customer fill form on a website anything like that it will trigger one of these things okay and the other thing is up here in the right hand corner sometimes you'll get an email notification this is not just from now site if you have an email notifier on your screen or you have a facebook messenger that comes in and it gives you that little tag up on the top right hand side that will also work with the now site system so when you turn on your notifications okay there is going to be another drop down box for the first time i've already done mine i did not think to record it um, if anybody new has not already accepted 
the um, cookies, not just for the website, but accepted the cookies from now site. That way, anytime a message comes in, it'll also appear up here in this top corner of your screen, no matter if you're on something else or you're in the now site system. Hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So one of the things I wanted to talk about this morning, well, by the way, Catherine Pierce is not joining us this morning. She was going to do a presentation, but poor Catherine has been horizontal now for a week with a pinched nerve. Two, two pinched weeks. nerves? Yeah, two weeks now. So she's going to wear a try mirror on for next week. Hopefully she'll be better then to do that. So stay tuned next week for her presentation on, on the sales pros and sales management and how she's doing a phenomenal job of getting wonderful leads and closing business using the sales pro and doing that materials. What I want to cover this morning is uh, a couple of people on this call uh, mentioning no names. <laughs> We've learned some lessons on email. <clears throat> and one of the things that we got to have is you got to have at least one or two. And for lack of better terms, let's call them junk email send addresses. Okay. So what that is, is you need to, when you're in, and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. <clears throat> when you're in email, and you set up an email campaign, you have a reply to address and a select email address. When you select an email account, it will default to the account that you have signed up with um, now site on, which is usually your primary email address. On email drip campaigns, you do not want to use your primary email address. So what you want to do is you want to go into down here again to your initials, like Mary said, down here to connections. And, well, it looks like I gotta get Mike sick back up again. You're gonna have to, you're gonna wanna add an additional one or two email addresses here that you're gonna use for email campaigns. So when you go back into email, and if you need help on how to hook up a connection, there's a video uh, back in the back of the uh, resource page under videos that shows you how to connect an email account and do that. Mary did a wonderful job on that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And so what we want to do is we are going to go back here to email. Oh, back again, hit too many buttons. I'm thinking ahead of myself. Okay. So when you hit select an email account, if those other email accounts are in there, it will default and show you, say, two or three different email accounts. Choose one of your junk email accounts as a send account. Now, it also will fill your primary email address up here as well as a reply. If, but I mean, the address you pick here is the default address. We'll also go to your reply address. You can go in here and you can manually put in your primary email address as a reply address. So what we recommend is having a junk send email account here and your reply email here. Now, why is that good? You can actually go in after a week after sends and you can actually go in there and delete all the sends and just clean it out on a weekly basis because all that account will be doing is just sending emails on your behalf. That's its only purpose in life. The other thing is, make sure, do not start light, okay? So start with uh, maybe 100, maybe 200 emails. Don't jack it up to 500 right away on a daily basis because you can end up in spam jail. It's real easy to happen and do that. Now, I did get some clarification this week on what is the difference between connected lists and send to lists. So connected lists are the ones that are connected uh, to the website that you created that is attached to the email campaign. So anybody uh, who fills out a customer fill form, 
on that website ends up in the connected lists. Or someone that you download out of sales flow ends up in the connected lists. If you want to import a list, then you create an imported list and you can attach that list to that website to be sent out as well. So this is only for imported lists. So let me repeat this. Send to lists are non-native lists that you have imported in the system using a CVS file through Excel. It could be your Google, okay, it could be your Google um, contacts, it could be your Outlook contacts, it could be a list that you purchased, it could be whatever that goes. Those are the send to lists. Once you import that list, it will start dripping it. Now, again, you want to limit how many people, how many you import at the time, at the same time. So I would suggest you may have a thousand names in that list that you're importing, only import a hundred. Get started slowly. That way it won't appear as spam as readily. Okay, unless a bunch of people report you. Now, those, those people do have the ability when they do get your email to opt out. They can opt out anytime they want. As long as you have the opt out provision, which is automatically located in your email campaign, then you'll be fine. I mean, you're not going to get harmed that way. But you got to manage this very carefully, especially on imported lists in doing this. So, you know, make sure that. When you're managing your email imports and exports, understand that connected lists are being populated by either people who fill out customer fill forms or you're populating it with sales flow using the prospect tool or those prospects that your uh, sales assistant, if you have one, is pulling for you are also going into these connected lists. Send to lists are imported lists anything from the outside that you brought in, you know, in, a, in the form of a CVS file, your Google contacts or your Outlook contacts or your Yahoo contacts, whatever it happens to be, those will come in and dump into here and make sure that if you want to run more and you're getting along, you want to run more than 500 in a day, I would recommend duplicating the email campaign, giving it like, email campaign number two. And then I would set up the um, send schedule. So say email campaign one, those drip out immediately. And email campaign number two actually goes out a day later. And you stagger them and you alternate them between each other and doing that. And that way you can run, if you have 500 going out a day, now you can have that email campaign going out to a thousand a day by staggering. So I spent some I spent some time uh, with uh, support on this because I wanted clarification. Because again, uh, a couple things I did not have. We have not launched this one yet, but there was no analytics showing up here on several email campaigns that I knew were active and running, and. There were no analytics open in here showing that this was active and running. So I could, that led me in the conversation about, well, what can screw up an email campaign? So uh, Natalie from outside was very nice, wrote me and wrote me a couple of paragraphs explaining to me the full functionality of how email campaigns work and the best way to manage them to stay away from spam police. So I hope that helped this morning as a trip, you know, as a tip and trick on how to manage your email campaigns. And again, if you need help or you want some clarification or setup, just contact Mary and I, and we'll work with you to get that squared away. Steve, Mary? we do have a couple of comments in the chat. Okay. Let me go ahead and take a look at my chat. Stop share. Okay. I'll take Lisa. You okay. can buy an additional email send account for $6 in the back 
office. Yes, you can. You can do $6 that. $6 a month. So I just linked mine while you Steve was talking and it, it went ahead and linked it. It synced it, but I didn't actually check pay in the back or, or no. in the back. You always will have one. Right. Email. The second one. I just I oh. just hooked up a second one just now. And, yeah, it, does, I, it doesn't charge you. It allows you to have two now. Oh, it does. Okay. Because it, it, usually I would say sync or go pay or something and it didn't. Right. It just opened it up and it connected it. So it will work then. Okay. Yeah. You're allowed to. So they realize that you need a send and a receive. Okay. I haven't used that. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Richard, absolutely correct. Those are good, good comments. Hope everybody sees Richard's comments in there. You can also go to Google and get a .com if you wanted to do that for your business. Uh, I've done that for one of mine. Uh, so it's mary at maryebird.com. So you can do that. Um, it's a subscription to, I think I did it with Google uh, to buy the end of the domain. Now, I don't have a maryebird.com. I just simply have the email. Uh -huh. I don't need another website. I got plenty of those. So uh, to bring you update on some instructional videos, Mary and I did record a couple more, and uh, including the two that uh, decided that Mary and I were cyber bullies. <laughs> <laughs> Re-recorded them and we used Mary this time. So I guess they like Mary's voice better than mine because I haven't had any notices about being them taken down. That usually takes a day or two after we do them. But we did add a couple of, uh, there is a demo overview email now. So you can forward that uh, that video. It's on our YouTube channel or it's on the, uh, on the resource page um, to uh, give to people that gives you a, a really very good uh, general overview of what now site will do for you as a business. Uh, we also did the CRM and we set up the CRM. And uh, what was the other one we did, Mary? Um, CRM. Oh, sales flow. We sales did, flow. Yeah, we had to redo sales flow and how to work with your, your VA. sales flow and your VA and do that and how to set all that up there. So there are three new videos back there. Um, go ahead and check them out. And literally, if you basically do the videos in order, one, two, three, the way they're numbered, it will take you right from the top icon and left all the way through the process on each individual part to do that. And again, and if you the, need help. You the know, whole thing is at the end. Yeah, the only one we haven't done, and the reason we haven't done it is it's quite lengthy, is how to use the web building tools. You know, um, that that's better handled one on one with somebody than a video. We would actually rather sit next to you and have you build the website and help you understand how it works. Because once you get it, it becomes very easy, but it, it's not very intuitive sometimes. <laughs> and also for the next right now, 12 months or as this package continues to go, now site's going to build them a landing page and all of those out for the first one. But let us let us let us give you a little, let us help them too. Yeah, a little word of caution on that because they're going to do bare bones. They're not going to create a website for you. They're going to create a landing page. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to create maybe three emails for you, you know, and they're going to do it using AI, which I'm going to tell you the ones that I had them do for me a while back. I still had to go in and edit and make it personalized and make it my own as well. So, you know, uh, if you need help with that, please don't hesitate to reach out to us in doing that. You know, and again, it's a great learning experience. Remember, we always tell you three ways you can learn it yourself. You can hire a digital marketing coordinator or you can hire us <laughs> and we can help you through that process. Right. So, you know, um, that's the way to do it and doing those things. OK, with that, it's uh, three thirty six. I mean, eleven thirty six and uh, central time here in the great state and Republic of Texas. <laughs> mm -hmm. so we're going to go ahead and ask you guys uh, we're going to open up for questions. Any further questions? 
or any areas that you just need a little bit more enlightenment in, in what's going on with the, with the process and system. Again, always we're available. If you want to become an affiliate marketer, you know, and you need, and you want to know what the steps are to do that and how to do that, you know, just reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to get you on that road and set you forth on that journey to do that. Even if you're not in our downline, we'll help you out on that. Does anybody have any questions from the site this week or going forward? Um, Steve, I just signed up for 430 slot, but this is Vanessa. So today I'm having today. Yes. yes. Uh, I will. I will not be here. I'm sorry. OK. All right. Well, maybe you can answer blocked, my question. I should have blocked up, but I can answer your question now for sure if you want. OK, so I'm whenever I tested my landing page, it shows an error. Okay, that's probably a security error. What do you mean? Okay, so when you launch the, the website, make sure that you put w, HTTPS. It has all that. And www, it has an error. Yeah, whenever, you know, whenever I, co I copied it and pasted it into a new tab because I wanted to test it and see what it looked like, it pulls up an error. Okay, can you share that with us? Can you, can you bring it up and share it with us? Oh, hang on a second. Let me. That's a new one. I, I, Mary, have you heard that one before? I've seen a couple of errors that have come up this week, but I haven't seen it on a landing page yet. All right. Share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, okay. we can. We got you, Vanessa. Okay. Megaphone. Um, I'm sorry, what? Go to the megaphone. So this is the one I'm trying to. Okay, don't do that. Just click on the blue hyperlink. Okay, well, that worked that, that time. Whenever I copied it and pasted it, it didn't work. Then you picked up an extra character or something that you couldn't see on the screen. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I needed then. <laughs> that's, you know, that, that means, and like, and we, you know, we always tell you guys, if you have run into a little thing like that, don't get frustrated with us. Go to the resource page, text us, and if we're available, we'll, we'll lock on and we'll get on with you a few minutes and just do what we just did right now. All right. Okay. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back to you guys. I don't know yeah. what's. You click the blue uh, camera on the bottom. I, I am. Nothing's happening. I see you guys. Oh, then you're going to see a button that says stop share. It'll be a black toolbar at the top. Yeah, it's something's different. Like I'm seeing. Here, I'm going to stop. This. I'll do it physically for you because I can do okay, it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Right, see, now, now, <laughs> now the screen's right. I don't know what happened. I'm doing that. Yeah, I mean, you know, don't let little things like that frustrate you. And you out there in the video audience as well watching this, you know, you know, again, go to AI HTTPS colon backslash backslash AI we care team dot now dot site. Go to the resource page. Our connection credentials are right on the front page. Try me or Mary. If one of us is usually available, just text us if we are. Go to our Zoom room. We'll just do what we did right there. And if we can't get a solution for you, We'll get on the horn with support and help you get it done <clears throat> and do that. And Vanessa, you know, I'm in the same space, so we can share some ideas on that as well. Um, I did have another question. Um, sure. okay. Hang on. It, it just went out of my brain. Give me a second. Oh, I remember. Okay, so I, I am in two different industries. And... So whenever I pull leads for small business owners, sometimes it'll pull in realtors. So I want to be able to make a list. Like if I run across one that's a realtor, I want to make a new list so I can add them to that realtor list. How do I do that? Like starting, you know, like just starting with a new list where I can transfer somebody to it. Go make a new web page. That's the simplest way. Okay. Don't make it complicated. You don't even have to put anything on it. Yeah, you just, can put for me if you want to, or 
uh, realtors. Just call, just call real estate list. <laughs> okay. And it'll generate. I just figured there was a way to go into the list to, to add a new one, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. If not you yet. It, yeah, okay. not yet, but if you import a list in, it will ask you at that point, what do you want to name it? So could I export certain yeah. ones and then re-import them? You cannot export anything that came from Sales Pro. Okay. But anything you import in yourself. You know, be it like a networking event or a list that somebody gives you <coughs> with like that, you own it. It's always yours and you can export that anytime. But uh, Vanessa, if you, you know, we'll get on. I'll go ahead and help you set up uh, a couple of lists for you and show you that. I'll go through that. Okay. One. All right. I'm sorry I can't make it at 430 today. I've got a, uh, I have a date with my wife. Well, you go do that. <laughs> know how to import the list i've done those we're going down to galveston uh, island uh friend's house to have dinner out and uh watch the sun go down so well you definitely that's a priority yes it is (laughs) yes johnny well can you clarify or or uh say what you said again about the 300 uh, uh sales flows left once that goes to zero Sure. It's 300 more sales for Mm -hmm. this month. So as soon as us in the field all over the world sell another 300 accounts, the the ability to have somebody buy an account with Nowsight, web, pro, anything, is going to be closed until the beginning of next month. The reason they're doing this is because they are slowly growing their database of VAs. So it takes some time to get the VAs trained and they're trained by Cheryl and they have to pass her test before they can be put out to us to have as a VA. So each batch of people that are coming on in each of these months, they're training them by the time the first of the month starts, they're training the ones that are gonna go on in November. Okay. In November, they're training the ones that they're gearing up for December. <laughs> because everybody every month prior already has been assigned to a VA. Okay. So they had they're overworked, or in this case, growing at a good speed instead of saying, Oh, great, you got the account. We'll meet with you in three weeks. And and that's that's essentially why they're offering the $50 cash bonus because they want to uh, award you for bringing somebody in. But if you only, if you don't have somebody, if you got a couple of people, you're still going to get like 50 bucks, which is like having another person come on for that month. And so they're rewarding it. But like Mary said, once it's gone, we have to wait till well, this month. It was what, October 5th before they started, before you could sell anybody and doing that. So um, yeah. So, you know, uh, if you have somebody, if you're an affiliate marker, like I put out a couple emails this, last night, a couple of people were kind of on the fence and I, you know, and I saw that there was like 300 left and I go, nope. I said, you better grab this quick or you and I won't be talking until probably first week in November. Where, where can we find the, how many are left? In an email now site sent out last night. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. And if you're not getting and if you're not getting emails, Johnny, from now say, let's support now. Okay. And check your junk folder. Mm-hmm. Right. Thank you. Bess? Yeah. I still have the issue with the phantoms. And yeah, the... I, I, I addressed that. I've got another guy that's got the same problem. And I I sent another note to follow up yesterday, Bass. Okay. Um, and I need to chat with you about going forward with yourself. Okay. Um, at some stage shortly yeah uh, let me let me take a real good look at my calendar real quick here first let me go ahead and block off that time (laughs) right now that i won't be here so nobody else ends up where vanessa did if y'all need me this afternoon i'm here i've just got a a one o'clock and a two o'clock appointment uh vanessa i am available monday morning at uh 10 o'clock if you want to rebook for that. 
I can't do Monday mornings. Those are I have meetings. Monday okay, mornings, or, so I'll, I, I'll look I, at it. I am open most of the afternoon right now as well on Monday. Tuesday. Well, I think you answered my question, so I'm okay. going to work on it this weekend. If I still need some help, I'll reschedule it. Okay, super. Reach cool. out and call me if you have a question. Yep. Okay, thanks, Mary. <clears throat> okay, with that, it's 1147, and uh, we'll let you guys have some more of your day back on this wonderful Friday. Everyone have a great weekend. The weather's going to be, like, absolutely perfect here. I can't wait. And uh, don't look for me on Saturday or Sunday because I'm going to be fishing. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, for whatever reason, this little cold front that came in kind of got the flounder kind of excited. So I'm going to do some flounder fishing this weekend and doing that. Okay, well, again, this is the meeting of October 7th, 2022, the AI We Care team. We thank you for joining us. <clears throat> and on the video, again, if any of you guys want to reach us or have need of resources, please go to the AI We Care team dot now dot site resource page and view a video or look for other information that might be able to help you build out a better site for you to market your business with. Mary, any last words? That's it. Y'all have a great weekend and we'll see you back here at the same time. Thank you.